Uh, welcome to the uh, Choreo Master Masterclass. In this, we're teaching you how to set up your uh, Choreo Master, whether it's a Choreo Master Micro, like uh, I'm using here, uh, or a Choreo Master uh, 4RU unit, or a Choreo Master Mini. Uh, everything I'm showing you is, is the same for all three platforms. In our previous videos, we've shown you how to set up the system, how to network to it, and we've also unboxed the Magenta Encoder 100. In this short video, we're going to show you how to set it up. Uh, first of all, before we uh, show you that, I just want to explain how we are wired up together. So I have my PC. Underneath the desk here, I've got, I've got a switch, and the, the PC is connected to the switch over, over UTP cable, and then also connected are my Magenta Encoder 100, my Choreo Master Micro, and my media playback and decoding module for the Choreo Master. They're all wired up together. They're all on the same family of IP addresses. Now, I would normally recommend using a setup like this on DHCP addresses. Here, this is a really small setup just for this. I'm on static. And so we're all on the same family, we're all on the same subnet, and we're all connected. And I've, I've checked, I've got connection, we're all fine to go. Now, this window here is my window, which is coming from Choreo Master Micro, but the source is this encoder. So if I click in Manage, and earlier we saw that we had a selection of sources here. So we've got our USB drive, our internal drive, and down here you can see IP streams. Now, if you are working in DHCP, uh, Choreo Master uh, and Choreographer will automatically find the Magenta Encoder 100. We wanted to make it as simple as possible as you could. But like I said, I'm working in a smaller network here. So uh, what I did to start with is I connected a DHCP server. In this case, it was a small router. You can connect everything with a DHCP router as well if you're in DHCP mode, of course. But then we went into the encoder itself and we clicked Manage. And you notice we've given you an awful lot of uh, flexibility while still giving you simple control. So top one is the status. What I want to go straight to is my network. What we did with, with the DHCP uh, server attached, we went from DHCP to static uh, and then put in our IP address. That's how simple it is if you want to work static. If you want to work DHCP, it will just automatically find the address. Now, the other things I have here, I, I have my start encoding. So if I push start there, it will, it will start encoding. I have my uh, address and this appears uh, later on. Again, some statistics if we're running. In capture, this is my capture resolution. I also have a choice of capturing analog audio or HDMI audio. In this case, uh, we were embedding the, the audio. You remember, Choreo Master Micro has an audio output. So we can take the audio through the system. In encoding, We've uh, tried to keep this simple uh, to use while still giving you the power you need. So we have four settings. We have high quality, which uses the same uh, input video size, 25 megabits a second, and audio bit rate 192 kilobits. And then here we've got the choice of constant or variable bit rate. And the strategy here is high quality, um, better speed. And we have balance. And you can see these, these changes I go through. So I've got three. I've got high quality, balanced and low bandwidth. The default is balanced. If I change any of these, so for example, if I change this and I want 22 megabits a second, you see it automatically jumps to custom and then custom is an option. And then we have our RTSP stream. So if we wanted to uh, reach out uh, from the uh, Magenta Encoding 100 to another device, here's the RTSP address and also the port number. This will work in unicast or multicast. This is my network, I've shown you already. And lastly, system, just, just some basic information and also the chance to reboot. As, as well as manage, we have a bunch of other commands uh, delved down in here. So the first one is uh, uh, multicast. So I can add this direct, a multicast stream direct to a play queue. I can stop and start encoding and I've, I've started here. If I go onto preview, it gives me a preview of the encoder output. So I can see exactly what I'm gonna see when, when I start playing. Now, lower down here, you can see at the moment I'm playing uh, the Honeybees clip. Yeah, so you can see that playing behind me. I'm just gonna stop this for a second and I'm gonna shorten uh, this duration. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play a mixed playlist of this and the IP stream. 
Okay, so I'm now going to drag my IP stream down into my playlist uh, and push play. This is now playing my uh, IP feed. So it's coming from the laptop here beside me um, and into the encoder and then through and we're decoding here. At the moment, this is playing for the full length. What I can do, if I want to make a play mix playlist, I'm just going to come here, stop and set uh, a duration for this as well. At the moment, you can see it's set duration for the clip. I'm going to make this five seconds uh, as well. And now this time, it will play uh, for five seconds, and then it will uh, jump to the Honey Beast clip. Um, this is a really, really useful feature. So, uh, for example, we can make a mixed playlist of clips, uh, of stills and IP feeds. We could also make a, a mixed playlist of just IP feeds. So if you're doing a big security monitoring system, you, you wanted to maybe feed a dozen or so cameras in here, you could have all of the encoders lined up in here, drag them down and set a duration. So that's the Magenta Encoder 100. We've tried to keep uh, lots of power in the unit uh, while still making it really simple to use. And remember, I've set this video up using static uh, if I'd set it up a D at DHCP, I'd have been done in uh, half the time. Uh, so that's Magenta Encoder 100. Please stick around. Please watch our other videos in this uh, quick series.